Greetings mothers and fuckers, I've journeyed to the back rooms in search of video ideas. I've finally made contact with the real world, so I'm sending this through. I'm keeping to the very original content of the tier lists, but this time it's how well do I think the characters would get along with me. Before I go, tell Shadow the Hedgehog he's a bit. Alright so the way I judged this was based on an instance where the character was forced to have a conversation with me in the setting of me somehow in Tevat. I tried to be unbiased, but I don't know how well that actually carried over. Tears are as followed, fuck yeah bro because I think we'd hit off very well. Then there's friends. Not very stupid idiot mode right away, but I think I'd get along well with them. I'm alright meaning I am an entity to them and I exist. Likely no particular opinions on me. Doesn't care meaning I'm just some chump to them. Then there's mildly concerned where I'm probably just slightly off-putting. Annoying speaks for itself. I'm just annoying like usual. Finally there's no because they just do not want to be there. We're going alphabetical order as usual. Okay let's go. First off the bat as usual is Albedo. I don't think this is my inner simp speaking when I say this, but I consider myself kinda similar to Albedo in the sense that we can both happily go days at a time without human interaction. I'd wager the primary reason he would talk to me in the first place would be mainly because I'm now an Isekai protag as well, but I dunno maybe we could get along over art. So I'm making a bit of a stretch and saying friends lmao. Stick the Traveler in there with me and Aloy and you'd have yourself the Isekai convention. But yeah I kinda doubt Aloy would have any interest in me. Amber, I've got no clue. She's friendly to everyone else so I'd assume she'd be friendly to me as well but who knows. I probably just sound funny to her since I don't think Australian accents exist in game. I'm alright to her. I'd like to hope I'm interesting enough to Ayoka. I think she's generally happy to talk to people in a friendly setting, so I don't see why it'd be much different for me. But then again it might be off-putting watching me trying to break into her place to try and get a glimpse of her brother. So if I don't do that, then I'm alright. I really don't think the snake dilf is gonna have any interest in me. I'd probably be weird about Chong Sheng while Baiju just wants to get back to his work. But yeah I don't think he'd really care much after LMFAO. To be honest, I think the only way a conversation with Barbara is gonna end is me getting dragged to Bible study. I swear quite a bit, as does everyone else. Yeah I think she's probably gonna try and get me to convert to the church of Barsabatos because I need God. So yeah I'd probably just concern her. Despite being an introvert, I can be quite loud and crass, so I think that Beidou would vibe with that pretty well. I mean I know jack shit about anything she likes but I think I could vibe with her well. So ahaha uh, yeah I say friends. I'm pretty sure Bennett likes hearing people's stories and boy do I have a lot of them. I don't get out like it all so I don't have any interesting real stories to tell. But maybe I could info dump my fictional ones and maybe he'd have interest. Though he's probably just gonna be wondering what's going on half the time. He's like that friend that's super supportive but doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah I dunno I think I'd be friends with him lmao. This might be kinda out of left field but I quite like supernatural things, so I think I could get along with the Chongus, maybe bonding over ghosts and whatnot. I would have to suppress the urge to give him something spicy though. If that's successful, I think we could be friends. I'm not the traveler. Daneslave probably isn't even gonna look at me, and neither would I really expect him to either. He ain't gonna give two shits about me lol. I'm not gonna flatter myself here. D Luke wouldn't want to be there and I don't think he'd be very interested in talking to some pasty weeb. Maybe I could stand a chance at conversation by saying I'm not from Teyvat but that's all I've got going for me. I'm probably the equivalent of an NPC to him so I'm probably mildly annoying at best. I don't drink so at least she doesn't insta hate me. But then again I have zero interest in demolishing the wine industry of Munstart, I kinda doubt the kid's gonna talk to me about much else. So yeah, no shits given lol. <coughs> I know I've said I find all the vengeance stuff kinda funny, but if I was having an actual conversation with her, I'd probably get kinda annoyed at it. But yeah I'm probably just some funny sounding chump to her so, 
doesn't care to you. I don't know how Yan Fei got up here but here we are. Anyway yeah I know jack shit about the law so that's off the table. Best I've got is Ace Attorney. So basically that's a short lived conversation. Another doesn't care to you. With Fischl, I'm gonna need Gosgal translators back up sometimes, but if I can understand a third of a Shakespeare passage, then I can understand about a quarter of what she says. I don't know how I'd be meeting a Chuni, but I could probably get another friend who'd like to listen to my info dumps so that's always a plus. I dunno, info dumping fantasy lot official sounds entertaining. Friends tier, after adjusting to the Chuni. Ganyu's too busy thinking about other things. I also don't really have anything interesting to bring to the table for this one, so yeah I think it's another doesn't really care. Goro's ears and tail are going to be way too distracting. Needless to say it's probably gonna concern him. I'd like to think that I'm also kinda similar to Hu Tao. Sometimes a pain in the ass but can get existential within reason. I'm honestly not sure how well we'd hit off but I'd like to think it'd be well, so fuck all we're friends now. Big man Nito let's go. Fuck it, this is probably my simp side speaking but I genuinely think I could get along very well with this idiot. I love his vibes and I think I'm OLA la 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 stupid mode enough sometimes that we'd be good friends. Himbo partner in crime my beloved. Fuck yeah bro because fuck you a simp can dream. So I somehow managed to forget to write a thing for Jean for like 5 days. Anyway, I think it's really just gonna go down the same as with Barbara. I feel like there'd just be something about me that's slightly off-putting to her. So yeah, more my <gasps> concern. Kaya. I'm probably not interesting enough to hold his attention for very long. I'm not super interesting but I dunno maybe we could have a nice chat about the weather. I don't think he'd necessarily think I'm annoying, but I don't have any of the juicy details either, so I'm just okay. Kazu has a big poetry buff and I'm kinda made towards it. I can appreciate a good poem here and there, but as much as I'd like to say I do, I just don't have that sort of artsy thing that Kazuha would probably get along with best. So I think I'm alright lol. I'll never get this pronunciation right with text to speech rip. Anyway yeah I also managed to forget Ka Ching, just like how I think she'd forget about me Lamao. She's a very busy person and doesn't suffer fools, something of which I am. So yeah I'm not gonna last very long on the Ka Ching radar. I'm just annoying like usual. Kids are indifferent towards B I think, so I think Clay would be the same. She likes everyone besides d -Luke, but I can be a d -Luke at times in terms of mood. I don't think she'd think that much of me lol. I'm alright I suppose. Kokomi, I've got genuinely no clue. I'm useless at strategy so I couldn't give any tips for any sort of different perspective or some shit. She kinda just gives me the vibes of also being slightly <coughs> concerned. And this one took me much longer to realize. Anyway yeah this lady would flirt with a brick so I don't think I'm gonna be immune. Needless to say I wouldn't be that comfortable. Otherwise I think I'm only gonna be in deep shit if I don't return a library book and I haven't picked up a book of my own volition in several years. So yeah I don't know I'm alright. I think Mona would probably randomly realize I've got no constellation to read there and that's it. It'd probably pique her curiosity and then she'd be more interested in my constellation or lack thereof. Otherwise I don't have much interest in astrology. I dunno, I just don't think she'd care all that much for me Lamao. I don't really know why Ning Wang would give me the time of day in the first place. Once again, I'm basically an NPC compared to someone like her yet she's only a 4 star Lamao. I digress. The sudden ramen intervention definitely wasn't planned so she wouldn't be pleased because her schedule's already packed. So probably a bit annoyed she's gotta be there in the first place lmfao. I'm very messy and lazy, so the polar opposite of no l. Because of this, I'd likely just concern her. 
maybe gym buddies could be a good thing since I think she'd be very motivational, but then I think I just get insecure about my own capabilities compared to Maid Saitama. So anyway yeah I think that's just mild concern from her end. I'm not a coconut milk enthusiast so Chi Chi's probably just gonna forget me Lamau. Doesn't really care. Razor would just stare blankly at me for a few seconds and that's maybe it. He might talk a little bit about his loopicle but I've got no idea what I'd say to him. He'd just get confused if I called him a furry. So another doesn't really care here. It doesn't matter who I am. Rosaria just would not want to be there. The only potentially semi-successful conversation topic I can think of would be wine but then I know literally nothing about wine. The conversation's just doomed from all sides. So that's a no tier. I'm kinda useless in a fight and I don't have very good discipline so I don't think that Sara would have much interest in me. So I think she'd just quickly get annoyed at me Lamau. Sayu would probably just fall asleep. I'm probably just gonna be making Naruto jokes to myself which would just serve to confuse her further. If she's gonna be falling asleep while I'm still there that probably means she doesn't give a rat's ass about me <coughs> Lamau. Hey Shenha how are you? <laughs> Alright yeah. She doesn't really care much for people so I wouldn't be any different. <coughs> Scaramouche is gonna have zero interest. Maybe if I have a death wish I can just bully him for his height so then I get Thanos snapped out of existence. I most definitely annoying. I don't know why I keep including her on these things but anyway no way in fuck is Senora gonna tolerate me either. Who knows, maybe she could give me some tips on hairstyling if I'm not dead right away. Like that's happening long. Another I'm annoying tier. More fucked up order, courtesy of Raman. Alright so Raiden. She's a confirmed boomer so there's a definite generational gap if you could call it that. My shitty jokes are like the only thing I've got going for me half the time and with less than 50% of them guaranteed to not land. I'm at an even further disadvantage because the audience is a singular boomer from an isekai world. Needless to say that Sa doesn't care at best. I'll just say it straight up, I'm kinda shit at science, but that doesn't stop me from being interested in it. If alchemy was real, I'd be all over that shit, but it's not so rip. The next best thing is biology which is an interest of mine. So in turn, I'd love to learn bioalchemical shit as well. And sucrose is a bioalchemical five head, so yes girl, go off about animal hypostasis test 12250. In conclusion, I will very happily listen to Sucrose's info dumps. So yeah, friends. Alright Tarsoma to Tarsus now. Once again straight up, I'm basically next to useless in a fight. I could maybe beat up a Hilichurl but that's probably not that much of an accomplishment. Anyway, yeah the minute I say I'm battle incompetent, he's tuning out of that conversation. He's the least likely of the Fatui to 360 no scope me on sight, so at least that's better than nothing. I have had thoughts along the lines of yo what if he taught me to fight Lamau but the answer's probably gonna be a fat no. In the highly unlikely instance he agreed, I'm dead either way you put it. Either that training is gonna kill me or he will in a sparring match. I'm dead in either instance. But he ultimately that's a don't care for a child. Toma's just a nice, friendly guy. He's pretty chill, so I assume he would be towards me as well. Worst that would happen is me probably getting a lecture on how to clean my room properly. I dunno, we'd vibe. I'm alright here. Well what do you get when a soggy paper bag talks to a cardboard box? Not much. The travelers don't really have personalities to me. Yeah they have their own motives and are their own characters plus dialogue options, but they're kinda like Link. Sort of a blank slate with the odd sassy quip in an unvoiced line. So yeah I don't think anything of note would occur. Given that I'm also a victim of Isekai in this situation, maybe we could bond over that. But yeah otherwise this is just another I'm alright. 20 wines the tall Starbucks cup. I'd like to consider my humor similar to Venti, 
but whether that's true or not is up for debate. Either way that's the sort of personality I strive to have. Like Ito, it might be wishful thinking in saying this, but I do think I could get along rather well with him if I do say so myself. A gaga 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 fuck yeah bro cuz hell yeah. I feel like with Xiangling, I might need to pass a Goba vibe check which could influence her opinion on me, and frankly I have no idea what the fuck the stove god would think of me. I can be a bit of a disaster in the kitchen so in the event of watching me cook, Xiangling will probably get a bit concerned. But otherwise I think her generally good opinion on everyone would counterbalance that a bit and land me in the I'm alright tier. I'm not special in this case because I main him. He doesn't need to know that. Anyway, Xiao is like the last person who would want to be forced to have a conversation with me, let alone with any other person besides maybe like three specific people. Perhaps I stand a chance if I bring almond tofu as a peace offering though. But yeah that's a no from Xiao. Xingqiu is still as good as we're gonna get with text to speech. But anyway yeah Xingqiu I swear to god please give me writing advice. I'm saying it once again, I have a lot of stories or whatever the fuck these things are that I write. I will proofread your stuff or try to draw some various things for the stories just let me be your writing apprentice. Ahem, besides that shit, I once again believe I am somewhat alike to Xingqiu in personality so I think we could get along pretty well there. So aha uh, ha ha yeah friends again lol. It doesn't really show, but I think I can appreciate the punk aesthetic and stuff. But guess who's punk? Daft Punk. JK this is the Shin Yen segment. Alright, I quite like rock music and just music in general so perhaps we could have a wedge convention or something I don't fucking know. Someone teach me how to play guitar. Okay yeah I just love her vibes and I want some of that for myself. Fuck yeah body ye. I could think of quite literally nothing on Yoimiya which I think says enough about what she'd think of me. She's nice, so I don't think she dislike me, but yeah I'm not winning any awards here. I am just alright. For Yaimiko, it's gonna be the exact same situation as Goro. I'd only land myself in deeper shit with her by asking to see her fox form. But you never know if you don't try. Sometimes risks must be taken to advance the progress of humanity. Anyway yeah that's some concern from Miko. Yunjin I'm not 100% sure on, but given that she's a very refined and elegant performer, I'm gonna look like a complete and utter slob next to her. I don't think she'd get annoyed at me, but I don't know how interested she is in being a friend of mine. So that's a doesn't care tier. <coughs> Once again, not to toot my own horn, but I consider myself to be rather quote unquote questioning of existence and shit like that. It's really not that strange of a thing to do, but sometimes you just gotta sit there and ponder the human existence occasionally you know. What I'm trying to say is that I think I could keep up with a few of Zhongli's philosophical debates. This is sort of another boomer god situation, but less so than Raiden. So between the two of them, I think Zhongli is more likely to have some form of a reaction to the shit I say, albeit likely only a small one. Yes I will admit there's probably a bit of simp influence in here, but fuck it, I'm alright. I've fucking finally finished the video. Smell you later.